So you guys can see I'm a lot further along than the videos are. Today is the maiden voyage. We took it out on the trail for the first time. Well, really not the trail. We took it out on the road for the first time. But uh, in this video, I'm going to get to the siding and some of that aluminum trim. And then, uh, anyway, stick with us, you guys. Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Like if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. And we're going to go hit the backcountry real quick with this little trailer. So check it out. This is the epoxy paint that I'm going to paint on the bottom. In case you couldn't tell, I've got it flipped upside down here in the shop slash garage. But uh, epoxy paint on the bottom, I'm going to put a couple of really good heavy coats. Two things this is going to do. Number one, it's going to waterproof the bottom of it. And I'm going to do the wood on the sides as well. And what that's going to do, that's going to help the HVB. Is that what it is? HVB, HBB, high bond tape, whatever it is. Anyway, that's going to help the high bond tape stick to the sides so that I can attach the side panels. I don't know how far this is going to go, but I want a super thick coat to fill everything in. See down in those cracks like that? See how that goops down in there and then in that screw hole? Yeah, good thick coat. This thing is really not that heavy. So I've got to move it. So this is the bottom. I just finished painting the bottom with epoxy. You saw a little bit of that. Um, I put two really heavy coats of epoxy and it's been dried for about 24 hours now. Uh, I've got to flip it back over, primer the rest of the, of the uh, framing and the top so that tomorrow we can start the install of the paneling. That's how heavy it is or isn't so I'm gonna get the rest of this epoxied and uh, whew, we'll be back when we start doing some exterior paneling I'm excited for that actually easier than I thought it would be nice so I'm gonna go to the other side and try to reach through and punch a hole right in the corner of the door because I want to try and save this piece of the door so that I can reuse it this only cuts a quarter of an inch that bit only cuts a quarter of an inch so I'll have a little bit of a gap that'll be perfect for the door gap right here but I think the trim I'm gonna put on the doors is gonna save it now the window
Look how good that's going to look. Woo! I'm excited. Alrighty guys, just so you know what I did. This is Comp Bond Aluminum Composite Panel. So, I knew I didn't want to do PMF. And nothing wrong with it. I'm sure it's great. I wanted it to look like... Uh, well, I, I didn't want it to look homemade when I'm done. And PMF works great. And it's probably, well, it's probably only a quarter. Well, PMF to do the whole thing probably would have only cost me what one of these sheets did. However, like I said, I don't want it to look homemade when I'm done. So that's why I went with this stuff. This was about a hundred and forty dollars a sheet um, plus shipping and I haven't gotten the bill for shipping yet so we'll see what that adds to it um, but anyway what I did is I got a hold of my local sign guy and uh, he ordered this stuff in for me had it in two or three days and I'm super excited about the way this turned out cutting it was a lot easier than I expected and uh, cutting the door out cutting the window out Man, I'm ready to stick this. Mm, I'm ready to stick this sucker on. So, man, I'm even more excited now, you guys. VHB from 3M. Hopefully, I got enough of this. I'll put a link down below to this stuff on Amazon. I think it was like $12 or $13 for a 15 foot roll. And I got two 15 foot rolls per side. So let's see how it works. So far I'm just starting my second roll on this side. Now I gotta peel all this tape off. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I believe it sticks better to the epoxy than to the bare wood. All right, you guys, here it is, the do or die. Ooh, it's sticky. I gotta make sure I get it lined up perfectly with those corners oh I'm nervous right, front corner is good check it again back corner is good I know the bottom's good because I had it resting on those Gotta get my light wires through here. <laughs> Window lines up good, door lines up good, front lines up good. <sighs> Woo! All right, you guys, at this point, I am going to take the heat gun again and the roller, and I'm gonna warm this stuff up really good roll it into place and then uh i'll come back and get you when we pull the covering off Woo! that's good you know what i think i can use maybe even a little less tape Oh, 
<laughs> you guys, this is so pro. This is worth every late night. Yes! You guys, I am so stoked about this. Oh! Mm. Check it out, you guys. Windows in place. Not permanently, but it's just sitting there. That stuff looks good! Okay, you guys, so really quick here before I put this molding on, I want you to notice what I've done here is I have overlapped the top over the sides. And I'm running this uh, sealant along that edge. You can see all the way along there, I overlapped the top over the sides. So now when I come back with my trim, that sealant will squish that sealant will squish right into there. All right, you guys, I have taken this aluminum and I've sanded it. And you can see I've notched out from my angles right there. Done that on both of those angles. So we're gonna set it on. Nice. Now I'm going to grab my screw gun and some screws. Nicely done. Repeated about a hundred times. Well, there's another part of the build, you guys. Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. It's only going to be a day or two before we get this thing out and give it a shot. So, subscribe if you haven't. Like if you do. And let's go hit the backcountry, you guys. We'll see you on the next one.